hundreds of Muslims converged today on City Hall to protest a four-year-old change to a city bylaw which may force them to move. They are members of the Birchmount, Lower and Sackanaw Community Center. They claim the zoning change, which requires places of worship to only be commer in commercial or industrial areas, is discriminatory. They brought their East End building, or they bought their East End building, rather, just a few months ago before the bylaw was adjusted and say they don't want to and can't afford to move. Right now, as we see it, we are not wanted. That's this is the bottom line. We are not wanted in the city of Toronto. And the best way to push us out is by saying, you know, you can't have these centers of yours in where your community lives. Therefore, you got to go outside of the city. We can't be located in Vaughan because we can't afford. We cannot be located in, you know, Whitby because it's too far for us. We all live in Toronto, in the city of Toronto. So why are this discriminatory bylaw is in place? And right now, the Sackanaw Community Center sits empty, shut down by the city in line with the zoning changes. The mayor has urged the group to look for a new home where the mosque would be allowed, and counselors say the claim of discrimination is way offside. It is actually totally, totally, totally inappropriate to be making those type of comparison. We've, we've attempted every effort to actually work with this group. In fact, they have not even seen fit to file a rezoning application, which we've directed them to. Simply what is going on here is this. There is an attempt by the leaders to have the city basically override our rules and provide a preferential treatment for this group. Mosque leaders have also put forward the question, where can future generations afford to build their houses of worship in Toronto? However, the city insists that industrial lands, like where the mosque was located, need to be protected to keep businesses and jobs in Toronto.